Nearly all press launches were this casual this also honest. I've just achieved the new hotel that sits alongside the fabulous Autodromo International du Algarve and run directly to dinner. Instead of a multitude of journalists, engineers and PRs, our group is small, nobody dons a name badge, where there are no carefully devised seating plans. Talk is of 997 GT 3S, M4 GTS, Camaro Z28S, along with a Ferrari 812 Superfast the colleague Chris Walton of Motor Trend had just tested. Just a number of enthusiasts getting geeky. The car we're here to push is the 2018 Jaguars SV Project 8. Which, it strikes me, is caused by a lot of enthusiasts getting geeky. The project was conceived and done by Jaguars SVO department and follows a treat and tested hot rod formula, take the biggest, most effective engine from the range and put it into the most compact body shell. The result is ins powered using a 5.0 liter supercharged V8 that creates 592 horsepower at 6,500 revolutions per minute and 516 lbft from 3,500 in order to 5,500 revolutions per minute. Top speed? 200 miles per hour sounds hilarious, right? The thing is, SVO plans to create a halo car using a really hardcore track focus. The engine is the start. With absolute performance plan the Project 8 adopts the all-wheel drive system in the type SVR, that includes the rear edifant torque vectoring by braking on both axles. It's been completely retuned with the Project 8 and designed to work with its heavily revised chassis. Project 8 advantages from new and a lot of stiffer front uprights, topi supper wishbones which might be shed to produce camber adjustment, rubber bushes are already replaced with ball joints there are now helper springs all round, too. The dampers continue to be continuously variable and switchable between comfort, dynamic, and track settings, however, you can also choose from two ride heights should you have a set of spanners handy according to whether you're driving on road or race track. There's a lot more, but than shabby the many, many changes I suggest you just consider the pictures for the insight into how comprehensive a transformation it can be from to project 8. The headlights must be moved an inch as well as a half forward so that you can fit the massive front wheels and tires. You will discover new front fenders, hood, rear doors, rear wings and fenders, as well as the exhaust has become made of titanium. The front track is 0.9 inch wider, the trunk track 2.9 inches wider, the large carbon ceramic brakes save 40 pounds in weight, the graphite hood saves an extra 6.6 .6 pounds. Leading splitter may be by extended 2.4 inches as well as in combination with the spine wing in high downforce mode. Project 8 produces 269 pounds of negative lift at 186 miles per hour. I mentioned it was geeky. Just 300 of such monster sedans is going to be built, all left hand drive, each charging around $187,500. The consequence of all this incredibly detailed jobs are a new lap record for four-door sedans with a Nürburgring, a tasty sounding 7 minutes and 21.23 seconds. There's more in the future, too, says David Pook, Project 8 Vehicle Dynamics Manager. That time was set around the last lap on the last day before the ring closed to the season. The car has evolved since that time and it probably wasn't the right lap. I reckon we might knock another couple of seconds off. I hope we to try. There's a gorgeous underlying determination in everyone involved with Project 8 as well as a mark with their confidence is over dinner they asked me to experience ago as setting a lap time across the autodromo. The fastest sedan lap around the following is currently a BMW M3, explains Dan Connell, head of PR for SVO.
wouldn't it be possible nice to leave which has a record? In the next little bit I get rid of all the best race and driver excuses I've heard, I don't understand the track. The counter is probably still green. I've a bit of any fever. I'll ought to dial into your car, and more. You'll be fine, says Dan. Come morning talk of lap times has disappeared and I'm plunked from the passenger seat with Mr. Pook. He'll complete a few laps then we'll swap places. Immediately Project 8 feels practically nothing like ins and calls to mind cars like those we discussed last week. The way the automobile changes direction reminds me on the M4 GTS, the noise is Z28 overlaid with manic supercharger wine as well as the track is apparently coming at us at GT3 time pace. It's intense and also extremely composed, the four-wheel drive system clearly provides fantastic traction. Our car has got the optional track pack, this means two-seater configuration that has a roll cage inside rear. A sedan with two seats as well as a cage. Pretty cool, huh? Sadly, it'll simply be available as being a four-seater inside U.S. Anyway, with the large 265 section front and 305 section rear Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2's nicely started, it's my turn. Even rolling down pit lane Project 8 feels pretty sensational. I jink left and right along with the staring fact is fast and precise. The damping feels taut nevertheless it doesn't possess the harshness of an M4 GTS and also the brakes have a pleasant reassuring immediacy. What's great is the fact it feels sharp however, not jumpy. The rate of response of all the so-called controls feels perfectly in harmony. It's a confidence builder. Out about the track that impression only grows. Project 8 turns with beautiful accuracy and resists understeer so well for just a roughly 3, 900 pound front engine machine. You get into turns quickly and the four wheel drive system enables you to get within the power nice and early. Somehow the booming V8 soundtrack and sedan shape send you to brace yourself for any big helping of eggs and oversteer, nevertheless it never really materializes. Yes, you are going to feel the spine wheels begin to overspeed plus the beginnings of any yaw angle, but once it arrives, the four-wheel drive rebalances things and you thump out on the corner fully hooked up your angry engine set unengaged to shriek and howl on the rev limiter. Thankfully this poise is matched by the tolerance for exploring other cornering techniques. So. Should you want to play with all the balance you may trail break in for the apex to set the trunk free and make use of the instantly available torque to run the car with many pretty lurid angles. To have a very four-wheel drive system that delivers such stability but additionally allows the driving force to dictate the balance with the car with throttle and braking inputs really will be the dream and Project 8 juggles the dichotomy expertly. It's over too soon. But there's another Project 8 waiting from the paddock with four seats as well as a ride that's 0.6 inch higher in optimum road spec. To be honest I didn't hold particularly high wants its likelihood of shining from a smooth race track. Surely to master all that weight so effectively on target requires spring rates and damper settings that could feel crazily stiff within the road? As it turns out, definitely not. Of course, Project 8 feels pretty uncompromising in comparison with something just like an E63S but whilst the ride is firm it's also brilliantly damped. The car doesn't rattle over bumps but instead parries them effectively, the wheels don't skip or hop but alternatively trace the outer lining neatly. At lower speeds you are free to appreciate the lovely steering feel once you're to the meat of your turn it feels somewhat vague just off-center. The great midrange throttle response, along with the rapid fire shifts in the 8 speed automatic gearbox. It feels wickedly naughty but carries finesse. I'm impressed. 
I arrived back for the circuit believing that the Project 8 finally delivers a no-holds-barred driver's car for Jaguar. The F-Type Project 7 was more details on the look as opposed to drive, but this feels as an engineering exercise to start with. Is it a match for something such as a GT3? Well, ultimately it's still bigger, heavier, more compromised, along with terms of ultimate feel, accuracy, control, and speed, it could have to give best towards the Porsche. But for people that has a big collection I'll watch I can see where Project 8 might easily fit into. It's extroverted but usable. It seems outrageous but tends to back up the aesthetic with genuine trackability and endurance, and it also is simply a damn cool concept made real. It's fast, too. Yes, they fitted a box making me execute a lap. Here goes my renewed number of excuses, it turned out my ninth lap inside the car and first without having a passenger on the circuit I don't know in any respect well. We didn't have enough time to fiddle with tire pressures, therefore we were under strict instructions to have off the track as soon as possible. Anyway, that M3 did a February 10, 1970, and within the Project 8 I managed a February 3, 1949. For further context, some bloke called Walter Rawl did a February 3, 1988 within a Cayman GT4 round here while journalist and Top Gear host Chris Harris managed a February 2, 2002 in a very 991.1 GT3. The Project 8 is fairly the sedan. 2018 Jaguars SV Project 8 Specifications Price $187,500 base Engine 5.0 liters supercharged dock 32 valve V8592 HP at 6,500 revolutions per minute, 516 lbft at 3,505, 500 revolutions per minute Transmission 8-speed automatic Layout 4 door, 4 passenger, front engine, AWD sedan EPA mileage Nah LXWXH 185.6 x 81.7 x 55 956.5 inches, wheelbase 111.6 inches, weight 3,900 pounds, 060 miles per hour, 3.3 seconds, top speed 200 miles per hour